Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We're talking Ewoks today. Star Wars Legion is getting Ewoks as their own battle force coming in 2023. And we have learned that we're going to see a lot more of them at Mini Stravaganza coming up in June. So I want to talk about that today, as well as some other minor uh, spoilers that AMG has given us during recent live streams. If you guys are new here to the channel, we are giving away a Shadow Collective starter. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Now, uh, this giveaway is going to run all the way until the Shadow Collective comes out. Also, I want to thank uh, Luxury Playstyle for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com and get yourself some amazing Legion tokens. Uh, if you are ready to do that, don't forget to use Crabok VIP as your discount code. You're going to save 15%. Also, orders that use that code of $35 or more are going to get a free Lightsaber Nunchuck token thrown in there. A Crabok token. It's got the C on the one side, the 5 on the other. It's great for counting damage or marking your commander or do a light side versus dark side. It's a great token. So use code Crabok VIP and save yourself 15% off of the most amazing tokens in all of Star Wars. All right, so we're talking Ewoks today. They are probably one of the uh, unlikely battle forces to be showing up, but also since 2023 is Return of the Jedi's anniversary, uh, there it's just a good time to kind of release them. Hopefully, this uh, well, they won't be the only thing that comes out in 2023. I think there's a lot of other cool Return of the Jedi-based things that could also show up in a lot of our Star Wars games. But we are getting Ewoks, and I think Ewoks have seen, you know, they've 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 gone through the motions of like people. Sometimes people hated them, sometimes people loved them. They showed up in Star Wars Battlefront with a really really cool mode that uh, made them kind of into like little savages. And of course, people have always noticed like, wait a second, they had a dress, a human female dress. Uh, that they brought out for Leia, which means there used to be a human female there, but they probably ate her just like they were getting ready to eat Han and Luke and all these other people. So, so they're they're definitely they definitely kill people and eat them. So you should definitely uh, you know they're, they're definitely capable of forming uh, an army in Star Wars Legion. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, you know some of the things that we might expect to see with an Ewok battle force. And I'm curious what you are expecting to see. Uh, I, I would imagine they're primarily going to be melee based. You do often see them wearing spears, but they also like sling rocks and use bow and arrows as well. So they are going to have some ranged attacks, although I don't expect their ranged attacks to be particularly strong. Uh, it's it's still going to be kind of interesting, uh, you know, and, and maybe we'll learn a little bit more about the philosophy behind them and what kind of attacks we can expect from them uh, at Mini Stravaganza. Now, we didn't get any previews yet. Uh, Will Schick has been giving us little bits of previews. They really want to hold off most of the previews until Mini Stravaganza in June. I will be uh, bringing you guys all of that information as soon as it's available. I'll be doing my own kind of live stream watch parties. We're going to be having a good time. It's going to be a really fun Mini Stravaganza. Uh, it's going to be probably the best ever Mini Stravaganza. I've just got a really good feeling about it. I think uh, I think we're going to see a lot of cool more stuff about the Shadow Collective sub factions in general. The new website should be up right before then as well. Um, we also know that the AA5 speeder will work with Black Sun, or rather with the uh, with the Shadow Collective in, in some way, uh, as well as the Black Sun being uh, probably prime candidates to go in the AA5. Uh, they're pr presumably short range with a white and a black die in their range, which means uh, they're, I, I imagine they'll probably be a little bit like fleet troopers that want to probably uh, get a ride in the AA5 speeder truck. Um, but we'll have to wait. We haven't been able to see the unit card for the Black Sun yet. So uh, that's all the stuff we can really kind of gather from the things that Will Schick has told us. But, uh, but you know, beyond gathering, and we do know that the, you know, the Ewoks are going to be throwing Battle Force, but we, we don't know much about them other than what we've seen. Now, there have been also some movies. I don't believe the movies with the little, the little blonde, curly-haired girl at the headband and Wilford Brimley and all these humans that went to Endor afterwards. I don't know if those are canon anymore, so I don't know if they'll really be able to use a whole lot of stuff from that because those movies were a little uh, weird. But I think they're definitely going to use the more recognizable stuff. Now, there are a couple of... Interesting uh, named Ewoks I want to talk about. Low Gray, for example. Um, Low Gray was, uh, you know, like the medicine man or the shaman for, for the Ewoks. And I remember, always remember his figure. That was, I learned most, like, they never said their names, right? So when I was a little kid, like, Return of the Jedi was my favorite movie. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and I had, like, the C-3PO collector's case, and it had a little pictures of all the figures. And that's how I learned, all the, like, the names of a lot of the Ewoks. 
And then it always said, Ewok medicine man, low gray. And I'm like, I think, you know, the fact of like that mysticism or that shaman aspect could be kind of a cool thing that they could in, uh, incorporate into Ewoks. I think it also paves the way for magic to work in this game. Darth Maul has a command card that matches, like, uh, mentions magic. And, uh, and of course, we have the Night Sisters and Mother Talzin. So we know that magic exists in Star Wars, uh, whether, and whether or not it's magic as we know it, or whether it's actually maybe just another flavor of the Force or a way that people interact with the Force who uh, you know, have a different culture uh, remains to be seen. But I think that the, you know, a shamanistic approach could definitely work, whether Low Grey will be like a, a, a commander or an operative or maybe just a heavy weapon or, or some kind of unit all to himself. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, you also have Chief Chirpa. Uh, Chief Chirpa was, uh, you know, it's kind of the boss, so obvious commander role right there. Um, you know, it, 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 it's not really a whole lot I can say about Chief Chirpa other than he was the one that kind of made the decision to kind of help go and and try to do the, uh, the attack on the shield generator. Um, and he has his own kind of special staff. Again, I don't really expect many of the Ewoks to be particularly strong fighters um maybe tebow tebow was uh, like one of the top hunters um not to be confused with tim tebow he doesn't look anything like tim tebow but tebow the ewok uh you know looks uh looks like he probably would be one of the more comparable spear or melee fighters um but then again still like i think the ewok's best you know, fighter isn't necessarily going to compare uh, too well with everything else. I think they're going to probably use a little bit more of a swarm mentality. So I think, you know, characters like this would probably work as a good heavy uh, and maybe, you know, maybe they amplify the unit, you know, the attack of the uh, units around them, maybe on their own, they're kind of weak. But once they, when, you know, once they are, the more they have, maybe they get multipliers, maybe they have a sliding scale based on how many, you know, are left in the, in the unit. Maybe you can, they can upgrade their dice. Maybe they have to use magic to do that. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, it'd be really interesting. And of course, Wicket. We definitely need Wicket. Uh, I, I see Wicket as being more of an operative, uh, maybe even a secret mission operative, doing a little bit of like R2-D2 stuff, because he was one of the littlest Ewoks, uh, but he was just so awesome, and he was also like the cutest looking one. I was Wicket, I think, when I was four years old for Halloween. So, uh, of course, I think a lot of kids at my age were definitely wanting to dress up as Ewoks. The Ewoks were a big, big thing when I was very little in the, uh, in the early 80s. Uh, you know, especially with, like, with the little Ewok babies, too. The Ewok babies were the cutest things. If you guys know what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up for the Ewok babies. The Ewok babies were super cute. Um, although, I, I didn't really care about the Ewok babies as much at the time, but I look back now, I'm like, all right, they were super cute. Very, very super cute. So, I'm, and I'm surprised we haven't had more of a return to Ewoks, although they have shown up in the books a little bit. Uh, so, outside of some of the different named characters, and there's more named Ewoks than just these, but those are like some of my top four. Uh, I think we can definitely expect, you know, whether they be spear, uh, sling throwers, or bow and arrow Ewoks. I think you have options for all of those, whether they be different core options. Uh, I think you have support options built in with, with the gliders dropping rocks on people's heads. I think that works. You've already got that overrun attack that the Wookiees have. Uh, and so I think that that works out really, really well. Um, and, of course, it gives you, uh, you know, gives you a flying, you know, hover. Um, might have to have to do a compulsory move with those guys because... Uh, you know, or I wonder if they will land. Like, I wonder if there'll be a glide mechanic where they can only fly for like the first couple of turns, and then they're then they have to land, and then they dismount or something like that. Um, but also traps. I think traps are an important part of how the Ewoks can will will work. I think traps might be the single thing that really makes them work. And there's lots of traps. The first before we even see the Ewoks, we see Chewbacca get caught in a trap. You know, uh, we also see like the big zip, the zip, zip tie cores where they tie the rope between the trees and they have people like they pull dudes off of speeder bikes. Definitely could be some cool stuff that you work in uh, against compulsory movements or against big vehicles like the big log trap as well or lots of logs rolling down the hill. They did traps like crazy. And I wonder if it'll be like a Cad Bane thing where you drop tokens down and they're either a trap or not a trap or if the traps will all just be command cards. And I think that could be an important aspect of it. Maybe the, I think, my guess is that Ewoks will have to have like six command cards that are Ewok specific and they'll all some kind of trap. 
And while the Ewok units might be really, really weak, uh, their advantage lies in the terrain and and in near their units. So maybe like, hey, I've got these guys, they're just as weak as B1s, and there's only four of them, but if they survive, I can play this command card. If they're near you, uh, all of a sudden I can trigger a trap. And so that all of a sudden makes you really, really weak, and then all of a sudden my guys are not so weak anymore because you're you know debilitated, or you're tied up, or you maybe you don't get to defend. Like maybe I, they attack you with all white dice and no surge to hit and no rerolls, but any hits they get automatically go through because I tripped you up in the trap and you can't even defend yourself. You know, like like cool like things like that could could be a fun. Uh, well, maybe I don't know if it would be that fun for the other player, but the idea of traps I think is a really cool uh, way to make a battle force work and would be very different for Star Wars Legion. We only really have we have like saboteurs with mines, uh, but if if it's a if it's a command card that triggers a trap, that could be wild. And, uh, and, and I think it'd be fun. I think, I think it'd be really fun to play up against the Ewoks. Although I really, really hope that the Ewoks are just the first step towards getting eventually Gungans. I really, 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 really want the Gungans. But if you've been following me for a while, you know that I really want Gungans. And I'm not the only one. Um, but uh, I also want to talk about allies. Because I, the Ewoks weren't completely on their own when we see them in the movie, right? And I feel like... Chewbacca really should be able to go in an Ewok battle force. I think that makes a lot of sense. And by the way, this little guy is so cute, right? Here. He's got like the eyes, the same eyes that the little baby Ewoks had too. I mean, I love, this, this is one of my favorite Ewoks. And I don't even know his name. I should probably look him up a little bit more. He's adorable. Um, no, but but like Chewbacca, first off, Chewie had a really cool alternate hairdo in, in Return of the Jedi. He kind of parted it down the middle instead of it going just straight back, right? Like he, he was, he, he had a good look in Return of the Jedi. Uh, but my point is, like, originally, um, I had heard that the like the Ewoks were sub initially like it was, Endor was going to be the, the Wookiees' home planet, and then it was like a last minute change or something like that at the time when they were making the movie, uh, or maybe not last minute change, but it was like kind of a it, originally they wanted to de uh, Endor to be the the, the Wookiees' home planet, and so. Um, and uh, and I think that's kind of why they named them Ewoks because it's like the back the reverse of Wookie Ewok you know something like that so um, so I thought that that would be kind of a cool thing to to do with these guys and uh, to just to give them the option to potentially have Chewbacca in there he also is known for helping get uh, get the ATST under control so maybe that will allow them to hijack vehicles I think that would be a cool thing or maybe you only get Chewbacca in an ATST, and maybe he's like, he's out at the top, and he's like, <laughs> you know, maybe he's doing all of that stuff. I just think that it, it, it's thematic, it makes sense, and of course, they're fuzzies, so it would go together. Um, other alliances, I think it's an opportunity for C-3PO to shine. I think we could potentially have either a, just an alternate unicard that you can actually run C-3PO, because a lot of people have the R2-D2 and C-3PO thing, but you can't run C-3PO by himself, so he's one of the least used miniatures, right? And so... Uh, what if you had a, a, his own unit card and he's now a commander for the Ewoks, right? A commander for the Ewoks, but maybe like it's so bad, like if he's killed, your opponent gains a victory token or something like that, you know? Like they automatically get bounty on him, you know, or, or something like that. So they, the Ewoks really have to protect him. Um, but maybe he, you know, but he really inspires them. Maybe he inspires them to fight like twice as fiercely or something like that. I, I just I think that would be really cool to give C-3PO his chance to shine, shine, Bada boom, dad joke. Anyway, um, but I, I think that'd be a, 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 good, a good option. But I want to hear what you guys think. Well, who do you think should be in the Ewok army? What kind of units do you think we should see in an Ewok battle force? Do you think that some of the Ewoks should be able to go with the rebels, or should they only be their own battle force? Do you think any of the rebels should be able to go with the Ewoks? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. And that's going to do it for this video. Of course, as more information comes out, I will be bringing it to you. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. And always, yub nub.